Um, what interests me most about journalism is just how broad it is. You know, there's so many different fields that you can go into, whether it's game design or broadcast or journalism, you know, writing, reporting. Um, there's just so many different fields that you can go into, so I think it's one of the most interesting things ever. I want to go into broadcast specifically. You know, work for the news, ABC. Um, NBC. My dream is to be like an executive producer. What made me want to go to HSJI was it's a great opportunity to learn new things um, about just journalism and media in general. Um, plus, you know, hanging out with some friends and meeting new people. My favorite part about high school journalism is um, hanging out with a lot of people, making a lot of connections with teachers. Um, also, just learning as much as I can. Um, it's a super, super fun experience, um, and I've been doing it for a long time. My dream position is to be an executive producer for um, a new station out in New York, um, preferably. One fact about me is I've been in media for almost eight years now, since around 6th um, or 7th grade. Um, I'm going to be a senior. I am studying journalism and education, secondary education. Um, I am going to be creative director for the IDS. I've worked there since my freshman year. I have a radio show at WIUX, Girls with Mike. I served as managing editor for the IDS and that was a pretty big thing for me because I had to, I think, grow as a journalist to gain that confidence to even apply for it and the fact that I got it and had to do it for an entire semester, that really like meant a lot to me and I think we accomplished some great things that semester. I was editor-in-chief for my high school, but even then I don't think I was very Again, confident in decisions I made. I often look to my managing editor or like my friends or people on the newspaper with me to help me like make decisions. So definitely gaining confidence and just put ever saw myself do it being an editor for the IDS. And now I've been an editor, I think three times. And I'm also creative director in the fall. I've met probably a lot of my longtime friends from the IDS. And IU has so many talented people and it's so great to see me accomplish things and see them accomplish things at the same time. Oh, I'm such an advocate for the media school at IU. Just there's so many different opportunities. Like I do the Indiana Daily Student, the newspaper here, but that's not all we have. There's the Arnold Center, which is investigative journalism. There's WIUX, where you can learn student radio. There's ISTV where you can do broadcasts, and there's so much more, like there's sports things, podcasts, like there's so many opportunities at the media school that I don't know other schools have. I'm actually studying journalism and education, so I'm definitely looking to maybe teach journalism in the future, but I'm also not opposed to being a reporter for a bit. I guess I'm a little, I just don't know right now. I'm pretty open to anything. Uh, my name is Chad Carruthers. I teach uh, Story Lab uh, for the media school, which is uh, journalism, uh, multimedia journalism um, for the media school. Um, I also work at WFHB, Community Radio WFHB here in Bloomington, Indiana. I decided when I was 17 years old that I wanted to be uh, the editor of Esquire magazine, which I'm told is a bit of a strange thing for a 17 year old to want to do. Uh, so I came to IU to learn journalism, to learn magazine journalism. Um, and then I got bit by the radio bug. I was listening to the radio one night and I heard a station that was unlike anything I had ever heard before in my life. Um, and that was WFHB, our community radio station here in Bloomington. Um, within a couple weeks, I was volunteering at the station. Um, and then when I graduated um, from journalism school here at IU, um, I went to work. My first full-time job in journalism was as the news director for WFHB. And that's where we created dozens of um, independent local news programs uh, featuring uh, programs that give a voice to the voiceless and uh, provide media access to people who traditionally have had very limited media access. Uh, primarily, I work in broadcast journalism, uh, broadcast podcast, as we call it. Um, so we have a slate of programming at WFHB that is uh, hyper-local. Um, so we have a podcast, a GLBT podcast called Blooming Out. Uh, we have Spanish language public affairs program called Ola Bloomington. Uh, we have this area's only daily half hour local newscast. Um, all of these things staffed entirely by volunteers and interns. My favorite memory in general is like, is one that repeats over and over again. And it's what I call the aha moment, right? So that's when we have a student or a, um, a volunteer come into the station, quickly realize that there's no barrier, that, that we are shattering that glass between uh, consumers and producers of media, that you can literally be the media. You can walk into a station like WFHB or any community radio station or community TV station, and within hours, you can be a reporter, you can be a producer, you can uh, be a DJ, uh, you know, you, you, 
you can be those things. You don't necessarily have to have a bunch of fancy equipment or, or, or go to a fancy school. Um, you can walk in and be part of something, you know, bigger than yourselves. Um, journalism has um, helped me understand the things that bring us together are more important than the things that drive us apart. We can use journalism to, to build community um, and to, to build a healthy democracy. And our founding fathers saw that. That's why uh, journalism is the only uh, profession that is expressly protected in the U.S. Constitution, the freedom of the press. Because our founding fathers and mothers knew that the key to a healthy democracy is, uh, is healthy media.